Uh, we all know that IoT is incredibly hard, so what we have to have is an ecosystem of specialists that use open standards so they can seamlessly collaborate. And so the open standard that we're all passionate about here and that brings us all together in one way or the other is LoRaWAN. Uh, our bread and butter at the Things Industries is that we offer a, a network management software uh, in a hosted way for LoRaWAN solutions. From literally mines in Chile to, to cow tracking applications uh, in, uh, in Australia, we're bringing all these different niches to life using LoRaWAN. We released a press release yesterday that we have now one and a half million uh, uh, devices connected to the thing stack. And what's growing even faster is the number of messages that we are processing. So we are now processing almost two and a half billion messages per month. But if you look at the cost and the effort that goes into a single device, setting up the network, setting up uh, uh, the devices, installing the devices, our estimate is that the total cost of ownership per device is around $300. If you, if you really want to make it all come together, you need to have installation, you ha need to have the network management, you, ha you need to have the hardware, you need to have the financing, you need to have the mitigation. So what do we what do? We do? How do we help our customers to reduce uh, these costs? We uh, launched a network operation center that's a new feature, part of the ThinkStack uh, Cloud and Cloud Plus, that allows our customers to have really great insight in their network deployments and improve gateway performance and increase battery life of their end devices. And of course the, the, the tools to install and provision devices in a very secure way uh, without dealing with uh, individual keys and things like that. We're launching later this year our new certification program and this is uh, providing a, another level of confidence to device makers and integrators to know that everything works and is secured uh, in one way or the other by the thing stack. Every day we get the question, so again, what's the niche, kind of what's the market that's, that's successful? And there is no satisfying answer. The answer is you're going to be successful in the niche that you actually know for 10 years and where you are an expert in. And if you can leverage IoT as a commodity, then you're going to be successful. If you gather all that historical data uh, and you can own that as, a, as an enterprise and you have that, then, of course, with all the new machine learning, AI, the current kind of hype, uh, what's coming to the market, uh, that's going to be extremely valuable. So one thing is really clear, you have to do one thing really well and work together with others, but specialized at your one thing. Um, we also see this less is more. So if you already have uh, a, a digital transformation strategy and you have proper IT systems, basically use that as the basis and use IoT as a plugin. If there's already an off-the-shelf device, really prioritize, see if you can make something work with an off-the-shelf device. Um, what we also have seen is, is a balance in focusing on, on, on customers and investors. We've seen companies and customers of ours that really focused on their customer and, and, and were agile enough to move fast and not kind of stick to the PowerPoint they presented to their investors three to four years ago. They are more agile and eventually are more successful. So what we're going to see is less batteries, uh, but yet at longer battery life. So it's going to be more data for the same money. Uh, and this is going to change many business cases and also make a lot of business cases in IoT. So what we've been seeing today is that many devices, they run on a battery for maybe average three years. But there's a new generation of LoRaWAN devices now coming to the market uh, that allow you to take energy from the environment and turn it into usable energy to extend the battery life of the end device. So imagine you, you, we, we have uh, an IoT project that has a capital uh, expense to, to, to do a deployment, uh, and now all of a sudden that same asset can be leveraged at three times the lifespan. Uh, that means that basically your cost will be the same, yeah, but your returns kind of go and triple. So, so if you look at the pioneers who are driving this, and, and, and these are the first, and, and we expect that in two to three years there will be no lower wind sensors without uh, this kind of energy harvesting technologies. What we launched already, uh, I think last year or the year before, is, is our Lacuna Space integration. Uh, that's a native integration through Packet Broker delivering data uh, in the ThinkStack Cloud in a domain that you're already comfortable with. Uh, and now we have uh, our EchoStar uh, integration as well, using a geostationary satellite, 36,000 kilometers above the equator. One of the new features, and that is, goes hand in hand with, um, with the satellite integration, is uh, LoRaWAN Relay. And this can be used for many different use cases. The two most important ones are network expansion. So if you have a large 
deployment where you have some of your devices on the edges of the network uh, that you're unable to reach with gateways, uh, you're able to install a relay to connect those devices. Another use case is to interconnect devices that are installed in places that are really hard to reach, for example, in basements. Enjoy the conference. Enjoy the conference.